If you treat an individual as he is, he will remain how he is. But if you treat him as if he were what he ought to be and could be, he will become what he ought to be and could be. What is the destiny of man but to fill up the measure of his sufferings and to drink his allotted cup of bitterness? Be above it. Make the world serve your purpose, but do not serve it. What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. Every day I observe more and more the folly of judging of others by ourselves. And I have so much trouble with myself, and my own heart is in such constant agitation, that I am well content to let others pursue their own course, if they only allow me the same privilege. In happy ignorance I sighed for a world I did not know, where I hoped to find every pleasure and enjoyment which my heart could desire. And now, on my return from that wide world, how many disappointed hopes and unsuccessful plans have I brought back? Man is not born to solve the problem of the universe, but to find out what he has to do and to restrain himself within the limits of his comprehension. It is not doing the thing we like to do, but liking the thing we have to do that makes life blessed. We all of us live upon the past, and through the past, we are destroyed. For a man to achieve all that is demanded of him, he must regard himself as greater than he is. The affairs of the world are no more than so much trickery, and a man who toils for money or honour or whatever else in deference to the wishes of others, rather than because his own desire or needs lead him to do so, will always be a fool. There is no past that we can bring back by longing for it. There is only an eternal now that builds and creates out of the past something new and better. We are never deceived. We deceive ourselves. We often feel that we lack something and seem to see that very quality in someone else, promptly attributing all our own qualities to him too, and a kind of ideal contentment as well. And so the happy mortal is a model of complete perfection which we have ourselves created. Difficulties increase the nearer we get to the goal.
To be pleased with one's limits is a wretched state. There is nothing more dreadful than imagination without taste. The intelligent man finds everything laughable. The sensible man hardly anything. The greatest evil that can befall man is that he should come to think ill of himself. We know accurately only when we know little. Doubt grows with knowledge. All the knowledge I possess, everyone else can acquire but my heart is all my own. The soul that sees beauty may sometimes walk alone. There are but two roads that lead to an important goal and to the doing of great things, strength and perseverance. Strength is the lot of but a few privileged men, but austere perseverance, harsh and continuous, may be employed by the smallest of us and rarely fails of its purpose, for its silent power grows irresistibly greater with time. Everybody wants to be somebody, but nobody wants to grow. To be loved for what one is, that is the greatest exception. The great majority love in others only what they lend him, their own selves, their version of him. The person born with the talent they are meant to use will find their greatest happiness in using it. Oblivion is full of people who allow the opinions of others to overrule their belief in themselves. None are more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. Nothing is so strong as gentleness, nothing so gentle as real strength. At the moment of commitment, the entire universe conspires to assist you. Leap and the net will appear. Too many parents make life hard for their children by trying too zealously to make it easy for them. Doubt can only be removed by action. Enjoy while you can and endure when you must. The greatest thing in this world is not so much where we stand as in what direction we are moving. We must always change, renew, rejuvenate ourselves, otherwise we harden. We are our own devils. We drive ourselves out of our Edens.
divide and rule, a sound motto. Unite and lead a better one. Talent develops in solitude, character in the stream of life. You must either be the servant or the master, the hammer or the anvil. The really unhappy person is the one who leaves undone what they can do and starts doing what they don't understand. No wonder they come to grief. For many people, one of the most frustrating aspects of life is not being able to understand other people's behavior. All truly wise thoughts have been thought already thousands of times, but to make them truly ours, we must think them over again honestly until they take root in our personal experience. When a nation which has long groaned under the intolerable yoke of a tyrant rises at last and throws off its chains, do you call that weakness? The man who, to rescue his house from the flames, finds his physical strength redoubled so that he lifts burdens with ease which in the absence of excitement he could scarcely move, he who, under the rage of an insult, attacks and puts to flight half a score of his enemies, are such persons to be called weak? My good friend, if resistance be strength, how can the highest degree of resistance be a weakness?